lawmakers across the state and country, both Republicans and Democrats, have been reflecting on the life of former United States Senator Ernest Fritz Hollings. The Charleston native died at his home at Isle of Palms Saturday. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey has more on Hollings' legacy and impact. Former United States Senator Fritz Hollings passed away Saturday. He was 97 years old, more than half of his life spent serving the people of South Carolina as a representative, lieutenant governor, and governor. He got into government to do things, to make life better for people. And you look at everything from, you know, a really transformational governorship where he started things like ETV and the technical education system. He was very interested in policy and fact-finding and research and, and trying to bring all that to bear to um, improve people's lives. Every moment of that service is documented here at the University of South Carolina in a special library named after him. We have things going back to um, his uh, early life, including his active military service in World War II, something he rarely talked about, but he fought in North Africa. The Charleston Democrats stood out in a field of Republican-dominated leadership, but it wasn't for his political affiliation. He had been laying the groundwork for the peaceful integration of higher education, Harvey Gantt's admission to Clemson. Mm -hmm. And at the end of his talk, he says, that we need to show the world that you know we're a people that follow the law and called for the, the desegregation. And people had urged him not to do that. Why, why bring that up when it's just going to make some people mad? But that's, that was Hollings. Senator Hollings' body will lie in state at the state house before his funeral in his hometown of Charleston. In Columbia, George R. Godfrey, 7 News. Again, visitation will be Sunday in Charleston. The public observance at the State House to be Monday, and Hollings' funeral is scheduled for Tuesday in Charleston at the Citadel, where Hollings was once a student.